Good morning, YouTube. It's Monique, or Monique has bypassed. Um, I am checking in today for 11-week update post-gastric bypass surgery. surgery on September 18th of this year. Um, so I am almost three months out now. Um, it's been quite the adjustment. Um, changing a lot of what I eat. I mean, I do still eat some of the same things, but I just don't eat as much of it. Um, and then there's things like mayonnaise, like, that I miss like hell. Um, <laughs> but I'll get into that a little bit more later. Um, for my numbers, um, my highest weight, I was 367 pounds. Um, my pre-op weight was 339 pounds, and today I got on my Wii Fit, and I am 292.8 pounds. Um, this means that I've lost about 74.2 pounds since my highest weight in March, um, and I've lost 46.2 pounds since surgery 11 weeks ago today. Um, and last week I was 297 pounds, so that means just this week I've lost 4.2 pounds. So, I'm pretty happy with the weight loss this week. Um, I haven't had a 4 pound loss, I don't think, in a while. It's normally 2 something, usually. Um. And so I'm very happy about that. I know that this week I really tried a lot harder to get in more protein and more water. Um, and I've hit eight cups almost every day. Um, and anyone who wants to follow me um, on my fitness pal, which is where I have been inputting my calories. And um, calories I'm not even focused on because that varies a lot. It's like between 500 and 900 calories uh, a day. One day I hit 1,200 calories. I kind of pigged out that day. I even had uh, I even had a couple shots. So, um, bad, Monique. Um, but that day I hit 1,200 calories. So that is not good at all um, that I was drinking. I really don't care that I hit 1,200 calories. So, uh, it would have been more worth it if I had hit my protein level, but it was kind of a pig out day. I um, went to two birthday parties that day back to back, so it was kind of a pig out day, um, but I never overdid it, so that's awesome. Um, twice this week I was sick. One time I got sick, um, and that leads me back to the mayonnaise. Um, I have been having such problems with mayonnaise and I kind of thought it was the vinegar because basically when I've been having anything that has vinegar in it, whether it be ketchup or barbecue sauce or salad dressings, especially vinaigrettes, um, or mayonnaise, it makes me sick. Um, now mayonnaise actually will make me throw up. Um, the other stuff I just don't like the feeling. so. I was a ketchupaholic, and I would rather not be able to have ketchup than to not be able to have mayonnaise, but apparently there seems to be, like, no resolution to not having mayonnaise. I just want a normal tuna sandwich so bad, like the way tuna used to always taste with the Hellman's, and I can't do it. Um, because last week I did have some Chinese food, um... And I, that same day, I also had like half a cup of regular dairy milk, um, and I felt fine after both of them. I was kind of hoping that my aversion to some of these foods was gone, because um, early on, I had, after surgery, I had Chinese food, and I got wicked sick. I like got dumping syndrome um, over the Chinese food, so I was very excited that I didn't this time. Um... And mayonnaise just always makes me throw up since surgery, and I hate it. And I've tried different versions of it. I've tried Miracle Whip Light. I've tried 
I've tried regular mayonnaise first. I tried light mayonnaise. I tried... I guess I don't know what to do. Especially if it's the vinegar in it. Um, unless I make homemade mayonnaise that doesn't have vinegar in it. If that is the culprit in um, what's making me sick. Um, I don't know. Just mayonnaise is... We're not friends. And I miss it. Just like I said. Because I want a tuna sandwich. So bad. Um... But I'm very happy that I'm losing weight and it's going to make the surgery worth it. I just need to figure out how to weigh to get some version of mayonnaise back in my life for the things that I need it for. Um, egg salad. Tuna salad. I don't care if it's on sandwiches. Mustard is fine. Um, or Dijonese. I think I can have that. I haven't tried it since surgery. But I used to love Dijonese. Um, thanks to a uh, hungry girl got me into Dijonese as a good substitute. Um, what else? Um, I'm not sure if there's much else to report. Um, alcohol. Um, the alcohol wasn't worth it, to be honest with you, because I didn't get drunk. I had two buttery nipple shots and I had a cup of juice with whipped cream vodka in it. And I didn't even feel buzzed. I didn't even feel buzzed. So it was like 400 calories wasted. I, th I think that's the calorie count. I think each shot was 100. Then the juice was probably 100 calories with the added whipped cream vodka in it. 100 calories. So I'd say probably 400 calories of my, of my day was wasted on alcohol that didn't even get me buzzed and that sucks um now I cut back on drinking a lot before surgery um I used to freaking you're talking to someone who used to drink Everclear um mixed with Gatorade Everclear is 190 proof green alcohol um back in my college days I used to drink that all the time I would still have been drinking that had I not moved back to New York State where I couldn't obtain it anymore because uh, it's illegal here. It's too high proof. Um, I would seriously be drinking that. I would drink one sh I'd get like a big bottle of Gatorade, put in one shot of Everclear, and I'd be good to go. I'd be like, perfect amount of drunk. I was staying hydrated at the same time because the Gatorade, and I loved it. Um, I was a big drinker. Um... And so I cut back a lot on drinking in the last few years because I have kids now. Um, but I mean, I still went out for a night here and there and get as drunk as my husband would let me. Um, but to drink and not even get buzzed, I don't know. I guess I'll wait a couple more months and, and, and try again. Um, we'll see. And birthday's in January, probably by then be drinking I'll drink again maybe wine or something um all right I'm need to be going inside of work now um but I hope everyone is having their own successes this week and uh I'm really happy about 4.2 pounds lost this week that that's good um I tried to avoid the scale all week to get a full week like surprise and uh I'm happy so, hope everyone has a great day.